For what purpose does the gentleman from New Jersey seek recognition? Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to speak out against the rising wave of desecration, threats, and harassment targeting Jewish cemeteries, Jewish community centers, and religious institutions in northern New Jersey and across our country. JCCs and synagogues are bedrocks of religious and civic life for Jewish communities, housing preschools for children and a range of religious, educational, and social programs for families and seniors. Yet the safety and well-being of these communal spaces are in the scope of extremism and anti-Semitism. Recently, there have been eight bomb threats targeting six Jewish community centers in New Jersey and more than 100 across our country. Parents are pulling their children from religious schools. Others are afraid to attend religious services. It's unacceptable. In the last 24 hours alone, officials in my district have uncovered multiple swastikas defacing our public spaces. These are not cases of random hatred. They are part of a deeply disturbing national trend that requires immediate and decisive action from law enforcement and community leaders at all levels. As Ali Wiesel said, indifference, after all, is more dangerous than anger or hatred. Leaders must stand up now against the rising trend of hatred and terrorism against any ethnic or religious group, including Jews, Christians, Muslims, and others. Hate and intolerance have no place in the greatest democracy in the world. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back my time. For what purpose does the gentleman